All right, so I'm Matt. Wait, I'm not ready. Not ready. I gotta go. Action. Okay, fuck out of here. This is where I live. Ready? Go, ahead, go. Ahead. All right, so I'm Matt. I'm Julie. And we're here because we saw a video on powder coating, and we want to see if it is as easy as everybody makes it out to be. We've never done this before. But they use powder coating to color fill their engravings. Uh, so we wanted to do a test. We got three different cutting boards here. We have the natural walnut, a polished dark walnut, and a bamboo board. And all these were purchased through JDS. JDS Industries. We'll put a link below. Um, so we're going to engrave the design on the board and then take it out of the machine, you put the powder coating over top, and then you put it back in the machine to do the engraving again at a faster speed, less power, so it can burn the powder coating. Is that how it works? You tell me. I've never done this before. Okay, so we're going to find out. And the laser we're using is a... Epilogue Mini 24. And I guess we can get started. Um, I don't, it doesn't matter what color we use. So our first test did not... That's enough. We'll try to get the powder all into all the crevices and holes in the lettering so that when it engraves over it, there's no missing spots. Where you got a missing spot at the bottom of the G. Maybe if you shake it a little bit, we'll get powder all in there. Good idea. Go see. I'm going to change the speed to 100%. And then we're going to change the power to 20%. So right now it's at 100. Faster little laser. And I guess you could put another layer on this if you wanted to. Of paint, maybe that would fill in. Let's just do another one over here and drop the power down to like 5%. Okay, let's do that. What's that on? Don't, those are my marks for the laser. Let's 
save that. Number two. So five percent was too weak. It didn't burn the thing at all. Ten percent at the bottom, but so after we switched it, we didn't quite get the tops of these because the bottom is perfectly lined up so I don't think it was our that we were lined up wrong because the bottom is perfectly lined up with the ink and everything but the top we lost a little bit of powder so maybe the laser wasn't hot enough for that part not sure all right so mistakes for practice we probably shouldn't have used a big board. a big layout because what happened in the middle of doing this, the laser stopped. So that kind of messed up the whole design. Yes. So that wasn't an issue with the powder coating, that was an issue with the laser. So it's not really relevant to the test. Now in this one, we lowered the power setting and the colors turned out pretty good. It looks clear so and shiny. This is 30%, this is 10%, and this is 5%. 5% did not stick or burn at all. Correct. So, cons. It's messy. If you have health concerns, all these things say they cause cancer. So, when you're doing it, wear a mask. If you decide to do it, clean up. Clean up's a pain in the ass, right? You get, if you have any grooves on your cutting board, you're gonna get the powder in there. And the only way I've noticed to get it out is to run water. So, Actually, wash the board. Yeah, wash the board. So, with that being said, if somebody else has a better idea or a better way of doing it, by all means, share that with us because as far as this method, I think it's a pain in the butt and I think you're gonna wind up spending a lot of time and a lot of frustration clean up, set up, it's plus, not worth it to me. Yeah, plus you have to line up your design perfectly back into the laser after you laser it, put your powder on, you gotta put it back in the laser, you gotta make sure it's perfect, otherwise you're gonna screw up your whole design. Um, the other method that we use for color, to add color is, I feel, easier and not as messy. And that's with spray paint, we'll, we'll, we'll make a video on that. Um, what Julie did, which helped out pretty good, is making these dots. So if you just decide to go this route, you know, we use the chalk pencil to make this dot. This dot wipes off really easy. But like I said, it's just a pain in the butt with cleanup, the powder getting everywhere. So that's on you. If you, if, if you like working, I feel, ten times as hard to get color on your laser engraving, by all means, go this route. I think the only pro that I would see is it does give a nice shiny permanent um, yeah but i think color. Ping, ping will do the same thing yeah that's true so and we did learn a method the other day about putting down a clear coat first and then putting the paint on which i'm looking forward to trying that and we'll do that in the next video and those are our kids screaming in the background if they show up on video Thank you for joining us. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would leave a comment down below, if you have any tips, comments, or any questions for us, and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you can tell when we put up a new video. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you on the next one.